three very important things that I need to get done around my house. Oh yeah, you're enjoying that spa time? Maybe not? We have the topsoil that we did buy from Home Depot. Look, she is just jam-packed full of eggs. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode. So today I have three very important things that I need to get done around my house. So the first order of business today is to get my incubator set up. I have some iguanas that are getting ready to lay eggs and some that are getting to lay in the near future. So I need to have the incubator set up and ready to go so when they do lay these eggs, I can put them right in the incubator. Then the second thing I need to do today is I need to go and set up nesting areas for these iguanas. So some of them are currently gravid, which means they're, they are egg bound. So any day now they can literally lay these eggs. So they need a safe place to go lay these eggs. And then the third order of business today is my male rhino iguana dozer, I think he has worms. He is getting skinny, so that's a sign that there's parasites. So we are going to deworm him today to hopefully get rid of these parasites. So I'm now here in our little storage room slash incubator room, and here's my incubator. So my incubator has been off for a couple of months now just because I haven't needed to use it. So this is a hot box incubator, one of the best incubators on the market. We have our thermostat right here that controls the temperature and then the power strip where everything is plugged in. So now I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see, let's hope everything is, is good to go and I don't have to change any settings on it. 85 degrees, probe 70, perfect. So right now, there actually is a heat panel in here and a fan to cool it. So it's 70 degrees, but it is slowly going to heat up to the 85 degrees. So the next thing we need to do to get this incubator set up is I need to take this plastic bin right here. I need to fill it with water up to about this line and then put it in this incubator so the incubator has the right humidity levels for these eggs. Okay guys, we are now back here in the incubator room. We got the water filled up. We got the incubator running. It's now running perfectly. It's at the temperature that I set it at. So we are now gonna just open it up and put this water in here and then get the incubation tub set up. So when we do set up the incubation tubs, this is what we're gonna use right here. So this is old stuff from last year. This is called a uh, Paralyte. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go clean this bin out, add some more Paralyte to it, some fresh Paralyte, add water, and then we're gonna put it in the incubator. Hey guys, so this is actually what I use for incubation media. I use this Paralyte, you can get it at uh, Home Depot. I think it's like 10, 12 bucks a bag and it's a huge bag. So I got the bin rinsed out. So I'm just gonna take a couple scoops of this Paralyte right here and, and fill it up. Nice and dusty, my favorite. Guys, we are back in the house now. We have the Paralyte all ready to go. So now we're gonna add water to it. So the reason why we add water to this Paralyte is because these eggs are going to need humidity. So I'm gonna pour about that much water there, put it over, cover it, make it nice and leveled. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same to this side, but I'm gonna do a little bit less water. So this way, all the humidity is going to rise and the eggs won't be too moist. should be enough. I'm gonna get and cover it, make it nice and leveled. We got the Paralyte in, We're good to go now guys. Okay guys, so I fully set up the incubator. Now I just gave you guys a little glimpse of the incubator. I am going to add about, probably about three to four more Paralyte tubs to it, but I just didn't want it to get all into that because you guys don't need to see all three of them being made. It gets kind of boring. But anyways, now I am going to head out to Home Depot where I am going to be buying some topsoil so I can come here and make all the nest boxes for my iguanas. We're headed into Home Depot now. So this right here is the topsoil brand that I like to use. It's pretty cheap. It's only $1.75 a bag. It's the Timberline topsoil, all organic, so you don't have to worry about your animals getting sick from it because it has any fertilizers or pesticides or anything like that. So I'm gonna grab about I'd say six bags will be enough to complete our nest boxes today. So we got all six bags of topsoil that we need to complete these nest boxes. I also got some Rain-X bug remover for my truck because I'm out 
So guys, let's go check out, go home and get this set up. Okay guys, so we are back from Home Depot now. We got all the supplies that we need to complete the nest box for the rhino iguanas. So right down here, we have the topsoil that we did buy from Home Depot. And then we have all of our bricks that we are going to use to build the walls for this nest box. So I'm gonna take you guys into the rhino cage now and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna do. So right over here guys is where we're going to build this nest box. So we have this nice big square area. So what we're gonna do is we're going to stack these bricks to build like a nice wall. So when we put the dirt in there, the dirt doesn't spill everywhere. And when the iguanas are ready to lay the eggs, they have a safe spot to do so. Now that we do have the wall set up inside of the cage, we are going to take these bags to topsoil them out. All right, so now we're gonna start filling it up bag by bag, and hopefully we have enough dirt. I think we do, we have extra bags if we don't. So we have the soil put into the new nesting era and Luna does not know what to think about it. She is checking it out. She's a very curious iguana. See, I don't know if her instincts are kicking in like, wow, this will do quite well for my nesting or she's just curious wanting to taste it. She's already been digging around in it, you can see. Luna, what is this? Luna, what is this? This is new, this is weird, right? You never seen this before, huh? So she actually laid 12 infertile eggs last year because she was not with a male. So I'm hoping this year, now that I do have Dozer in here, that she is going to lay 12 fertile eggs. I think they have already been locking up because I've seen little teeth mark on her, on her neck. You can kind of see them just a little bit. But yeah, this came out amazing. So I am super stoked about how easy it was to do. And it's just gonna be a perfect nesting spot for these rhino iguanas. So I know all of you have been waiting for this. Well, at least I have, but this to me is the most important pressing part of the video is figuring out if this guy has worms. I am almost positive that he does. So if you look at his size, you can see he's relaxed, dude. I know Cliff was in here. You don't know him. He's trying to tail with me, but you can see for his head size, he is pretty skinny compared to these girls. Look how fat they are that they're just really fat all throughout their body, see? So I am going to get some Panicure, which is a deworming medicine, and I am going to give it to him inside of a banana. So I'm hoping that with the Panicure, I'm going to have to give it to him for the next three days. So hopefully it will, you know, clear up. I'm getting everything ready to deworm the iguana now. So I, right here, I have the dewormer. I have a syringe so I can get the proper amount of dewormer. I have the banana, which I'm gonna put the dewormer in and my knife to get it all ready. So now I'm gonna cut the banana up, give them a piece about this big. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carve it it's just so I can put the medicine inside of the cavity that I'm carving. So this should be enough right there to cut out. So since he is a about 15 pound lizard, you want to do what is it? It is one cc, so that's one bar right there per five pounds. So we're gonna do one, two, three bars of medicine. Let me pull the syringe out. There we go. We're going to put roughly, so let's see, that should be enough medicine, roughly three cc, so that's going to work just fine. So now we're going to take it and we are going to just, let me get it to focus, perfect. Perfect. So we're still gonna lose a little bit, but I always pull it back and still, oh, they shot my hand, perfect. And I shot my hand again, because I'm looking at the camera and not the thing. So I'm going to just take some of this. Kids, don't try this at home, don't cut yourself. 
So I am a little bit nervous about giving this um, banana to him just because the other ones literally lose their minds like I showed you guys in the very first video that I made. So once the other ones see it, they're gonna go crazy. So I don't want the other ones to steal this banana from him. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get it just right. We have now entered the layer of the iguanas. So come on, take it. Perfect. Take it. Quick, quick, quick. Don't let him get it. Don't let him get it. Perfect. He's getting his medicine. That's exactly what we want. He's getting his deworming. Hey. Whoa. She's got an iguana brawl. Put her down. See what it's like. Mm, she got a little. It's okay. All that matters is that he got his medicine. All right, guys, that is going to conclude today's episode. I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching it. I had an absolute blast making it. So I want all of you guys, if you have not already, to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, as well as subscribe to my channel if you have not already.